We have today very high levels of investment in public infrastructure, the highest in the country's history. Our annual spend is roughly a quarter trillion rand. Our current national infrastructure plan is costed at four trillion rand. It embraces a coordinated set of infrastructure products or platforms, if you like, ranging from energy to transport and logistics, ICT infrastructure, water, but also all the social infrastructure, health, education, sanitation. Infrastructure is a critical driver of economic growth. But it's also part of the six eyes of public policy. Those other five eyes are industrialization, investment, innovation, inclusion, and integration. And I'm going to suggest that infrastructure is the trigger. It's that set of investments, that collaborative action by many in the society that unleashes the potential of many of these other eyes. We looked at infrastructure and GDP growth taking a relatively long time series in South Africa and we mapped uh, infrastructure spending and GDP uh, growth. And like most societies, we saw a positive uh, correlation between these two, that infrastructure spending often led GDP recovery or boosted GDP growth. We saw in South Africa, looking at the, um, the association between infrastructure investment and GDP growth, that every ballpark over a long enough time series, every 3% rise in infrastructure spending results in a full 1% uh, rise in GDP. But it is important when we look at infrastructure to recognize that there's a public mandate embedded in it, particularly in a society like South Africa. And one could either have a narrative that says well, government, you can't do it. We think we can do a better job. Step aside and we'll run your infrastructure program. For all sorts of reasons, that's not feasible. Among others, the job of the private sector is not national economic development. It is return to shareholders. We can marry that interest with national interest, but that requires policymakers to run this program.